on how to brand and create professional looking videos um, for marketing, for live streaming, for communications, for your customers. Uh, it, should be, it should be really interesting. So let's go ahead and uh, let's turn this music off and let's get started. Okay, hello everybody. How are you doing? Paul Richards here with PT with HuddleCam HD. I'm really happy to be here. And in this webinar, we are looking at how to professionally brand live streams. So something that traditionally um, is handled by a marketing department. Uh, so if you have a marketing department, um, this is usually their job. Um, this is usually what they have to handle, um, and you know we're going to work with them. You know we want to work with the marketing department to create a beautiful live stream. That is kind of the takeaway here, and, and the, the takeaway is before you go live, you know especially if you're a business, you have to look professional. You have to use the tools that are out there today to look professional. Um, and before we get too far into it, I want to tell a couple jokes just for the heck of it. What do you call fake noodles? Do, 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 do. Everyone's heard this one, an impasta. So I figured I'd, I'd spice it up a little bit. Um, but yes, we're talking about how to professionally brand live streams. One of the tools, and of course I'll be answering all the questions in the chat, obviously. Um, one of the tools that everyone seems to use in the industry is Adobe Creative Cloud. Okay, so Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere, these are um, staples in the industry that uh, help people create really great live um, content. So you've got your live streaming software, maybe you've got a TriCaster, maybe you're using Wirecast, um, but you still need images to overlay like I'm doing right over here. Um, you still need videos, you need an intro video, so how do you get all of those things, kind of like Legos, kind of like building a house, you know, brick upon brick. Uh, each brick being, you know, a different picture, a different video file, all the things that you need to put together to create a really great live stream. So Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere, things that you really need, they're all available through Adobe Creative Cloud, and now it's available $50 a month. Uh, you can get access to the whole Adobe Cloud, or for like $10 a month, you can just get Photoshop, just get After Effects, just get whatever you need, really. So f let's talk about Photoshop. So Photoshop is the program that you can use to create professionally branded images. So whether it's a PNG file or a JPEG, and we'll kind of talk about the differences between those two. Um, or you could also use GIMP. GIMP is a free version of Photoshop that I actually use for a long time. But then when you become a power user, you say, you know what, I'll, I'll buck up and pay the extra for Photoshop. It's, got, it's always got kind of the best, the best uh, compatibility there. But um, you take this pro product, Photoshop, and you create images. So this image over here is an image laying on top of, over by, even behind it, is a video file. So this is a video file, and this is a PNG file. So I have a video file on top of, uh, a PNG file on top of a video file, which is creating kind of a cool effect of basically much cooler than PowerPoint, right? So if you need to create a PowerPoint presentation, maybe you can do it this way. Uh, if, if you need to do a live stream, this is perfect. And also just short videos, right? Video about product A, video about product B, this is definitely a great way to do so. We have assets that you can download from our website and of course all of our webinars that go over everything. So After Effects is kind of the bigger brother of Photoshop that really works on videos. So you can create videos um, and uh, you can download pre-done templates. So I'm going to really quickly show again this, actually, you know what, I could actually show over here, kinda, this is kind of the reason why we set it up this way, um, where is that? Over here, you can see uh, behind me, we have this uh, video file. I'll kind of show it off again here. And this video file was really just downloaded 
uh, from Videoblocks, just a company called Videoblocks, where you can go to videoblocks.com and download a template. I was able to put all those little pieces of um, content in there. So I could change it all and put my logo there, change everything, but I didn't actually have to create all of those little pieces um, that you know are very difficult and time consuming to do. I could just simply um, download the template and then put my own information in there. So that's something a lot of people don't realize, but it's very, very easy to do. Um, and so you go to videoblocks.com, you download the blocks of video that you need, and you start building the assets that you need to create a fully branded channel and live stream. So f again, Photoshop for the pictures and stuff, Adobe After Effects for the video files and overlays. Um, so I want to talk about some really basic stuff too. Um, an AVI file versus an MP4 file. And we talked about also JPEG versus PNG files. And this some, I, I'm guessing there's some really advanced users out there. They're like, Paul, stop boring me. But just so you guys know, an AVI file is super high quality, almost no compression there. And you can run it with an alpha channel so that the video can actually have like a transparent background. Um, so that's what's going on over here in the right hand corner uh, down below here. You can kind of see my little um, square there that's running. And uh, you. AVI files are much larger than MP4 files. So if you can get away with using an MP4 by using cropping or whatever you need to do, it's going to run a lot smoother on your computer. So that's always a good thing. Um, wanted to talk about YouTube account. If you do not have a YouTube account right now, stop watching this live stream and go create one. Um, even if it's just going to be to watch other people's videos and subscribe to you know, maybe our video channel or other people's channels uh, and watch and learn. Um, once you create that YouTube channel, it's one of the best marketing tools out there. Um, it, it actually is the number two search engine in the world right after Google. And the, Google e even itself will optimize search for videos because Google knows people want to watch videos as opposed to reading long articles and texts and things. So, I mean, videos are number one uh, converting thing that you can, uh, oh gosh, whoop, my chair kind of <laughs> gooped on me there. Yeah, I guess I'll have to just sit lower then. Um, it's the number one, one of the number one things you can do to convert customers is to show a really great um, video. So um, definitely start using this if you're not. And hopefully the tips that we're, we're giving you here are going to give you the tools you need to create really compelling videos um, and just have fun with it. So other than that, um, what else do we have here? Um, we have some, a little a little talk about the New Tech NDI, and with, that's a product from um, New Tech, the New Tech TriCaster folks, and that product is allowing for really easy ways to use live streaming technology. Um, if you have a TriCaster or another piece of software that uses the New Tech NDI, uh, you can use that to um, connect uh, computers across your network and actually have like a producer actually, you know, while you're doing your live stream, have someone else worry about the graphics and all the files and everything. So that's pretty much our update, everybody. I have I wanted to take uh, everyone on a little tour here of our website where I can show you guys where you can get a lot of the different um, tools out there today. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll take you there. HTTP colon slash slash huddlecam hd.com Alrighty then, let's go ahead and take you there. So this is HuddleCamHD.com, uh, for those of you who may not have been here. And this is a great way to take uh, customers on a little tour of the website. Um, so, you know, one of the things that a lot of people um, go to is our resources area here. And um, if you are doing live streaming or something like that, we have our broadcast area. So not only does it give you a whole bunch of uh, configurations on how to set up a system. So let's say, you know, just a small studio here. Um, you can set up a small system with a huddle cam camera, a huddle pod air speakerphone. And, um, you know, you've pretty much got everything you need to start live streaming. Um, so this is what I like to show a lot because what a lot of people don't realize is that you know you don't need to spend thousands of thousands of dollars to produce your own live show and or 
video conferencing system and or just a place to create videos, marketing videos. All of this technology is kind of seamless. It's not just one purpose use. You can use this for live streaming, video conferencing, Skyping. I mean, there's just so much you can do with it. So that was just one thing we wanted to, um, to bring up. And let's go ahead and uh, go back here. How do we go back? Oh, go back. Okay, so um, under resources here, we have a couple different things that you can use, um, and to, to obviously the tutorial videos. Um, but one of the things that um, we really represent is a great download section that where you can download all our manuals, all our data sheets, and then over here we have some things such as um, downloading. Um, configuration tools and stuff like that. So that's not exactly what I was looking for. So we still have to add some of those tools. Um, ba -dum -ba -bum. Shit, I thought it was in here. I guess it's not. So we do have something called, and I'll have to um, take you here one second. It's called microstreaming.io. So http colon slash slash microstreaming.io. Okay. So we will take you there now. Bink. So microstreaming.io is a place that you can go um, to learn about how to do all the live streaming. Um, so if we go to about, this is just going to give me a couple quick tips here, which I really think are important. One thing is, is that if you have a video that you've created, if you get 7,500 views in a day, that's the equivalent to hiring 46 hyper-efficient salespeople spreading your message. So if you can create, and of course, that means you have an effective video that's somewhat gone viral. Um, now, let's just say you, know, you only get a tenth of that and you have 750 views a day. That's still 4.6 salespeople out there pushing your message to your customers all day long. So creating these videos is no joke. I mean, it is, it is really powerful stuff. Um, the other reality of the world we live in today is that the average customer spends 90% of their time researching before they contact the sales team. So only 10% of people are actually going to contact the sales team right away. The other 9 out of 10 people are going to be um, continuing to search on your website, maybe watch videos, and that's really where you need, if you don't have the videos or you're not creating enough, that's where you can really start um, leveraging, you know, those sales conversions. Um, YouTube is second largest search engine and uh, very low startup cost, and that's a, that's a lot of people forget about. So there's a free ebook here where you can learn um, how to do that, and then we've just got an entire section of um, videos. And these videos um, will show you how introduction, simple paths to success, how to do a hook, how to do a line, how to do a sinker. And the sinker is something I definitely want to show off at the end of this video. What you're going to see is I'm actually going to, um, to show off a little sinker, which I think is going to be great. We will show that at the end there. And then, uh, so hook, line, and sinker is really important. Um, how to set up your layout, how to simulcast, how to select the right equipment, how to use a green screen, how to use a virtual set. All of these things are outlined in quick little five minute videos. So I really think that that's going to be uh, an important, important part of learning how to use all of this technology, all of these tips that we've given you guys. So uh, last thing is that Infocom is cut right around the corner here and I wanted to show off, let me see fully zoom out. This is our Infocom booth here. So uh, we're gonna have uh, Wirecast over here on one side, New Tech TriCaster on the other, and then in the back we're actually gonna have a, um, we're gonna have um, a live streaming show that's gonna live stream to YouTube. And the live streaming show is actually going to have, uh, for the first time ever that we've done, three selectable streams for the user to select. So that's going to be really amazing. So we're going to, the user, or you, you guys, whoever's watching on YouTube, is going to be able to select um, which camera they want to uh, check out 
And you're going to be able to sit on YouTube and be like, oh, I want to look at this camera feed. Oh, I want to look at this camera feed. And we think something like that is really going to start changing the game. The other thing I wanted to mention is we have a Infocom meetup coming up soon. Uh, so Infocom is June 8th. And that Wednesday, we're going to have a little open bar for our customers. So please stop by if you're out there and you, you, know, you want to meet with us, you want to talk with us. Uh, we are here. Uh, we're going to be there, and we really want to meet with everybody and hang out. So I'm going to end on my closer, and I'll show you what that is, guys. Let's go over here. So this is my quote-unquote closer. And what the closer is, is basically, it's a moment where you can take, take a moment here to ask everyone to subscribe. So if, if you enjoyed our, our video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, it just, those little slides in the little YouTube channel. And then you can also offer maybe a call to action. So below you see we offer free eBooks. So we have a free eBook below that you can click on and download. And then we also have over here um, playlists that uh, are for camera overviews, tips, tricks, and tutorials. And then, of course, you're watching a live stream today. We do them every Friday. Um, now, next Friday will be all about Infocom. And then the following Friday, we are going to skip because we will be at Infocom. We'll be live streaming from Infocom. So that's how you do kind of like an outro video. And, and if, if you're interested, send an email to sales at HuddleCamHD. We can send you um, a After Effects template on how to create one of these. They're really easy to do. Um, so they're really great. And that is our show, everybody. So uh, finally, I do have to end on our credits. But thank you, everybody, for being a part of this webinar. Enjoy your day. Happy Friday. All right, bye, everybody.